Hello Sunshines, my name is Mariah Rosie and today I'm going to be repainting a deer skull. So we're going to get right into it with cleaning it and then adding a nice base layer of acrylic paint. Just white acrylic paint because I don't have gesso. Because half the time when I'm looking for gesso, it's freaking expensive. But that's beside the point. So I painted the rest of this off camera because if you didn't know, deer skulls have lots and lots and lots and lots of nooks and crannies that are excruciatingly difficult to get into with a brush and it's just a whole process of like turning the deer skull to make sure you got all of the angles in a certain place. Like my god, it took me forever and I had to do two layers of this green color which was unbelievably annoying but I powered through it and got it all done. Oh my god, it was so hard. And I've done other deer skulls as well, and it's always such a pain, but I'm, yeah. You just gotta keep going forward and doing it, and you'll get there, eventually. Even if it takes you, like, three hours. So, I originally painted this deer skull, like, in high school or whatever. I, I don't even remember. It was so long ago. The dots and stuff were fine, but I took it off my wall about, like, three to six months ago. And it's been sitting in my closet ever since. And I just knew it needed to get out of my closet and I wanted to paint it nature -y and decorate it all nature. So yeah, now I'm taking a sponge and putting on some darker colors to give it even more texture, which I thought was nice. And I put a lot of the darker colors around the eyes and like the different holes and like the mouth and stuff or the nose, I guess you want to say, not the mouth, but you get it, you get it. And I also put like this really shiny gold color on the forehead where the sigil I'm going to place is actually going to go because I wanted to make this kind of witchy vibes, I guess, witchy nature, which I thought would be really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up all this texturing and I actually did add black to the eyes especially just for even more texture and stuff, which I thought was nice. And then I removed the paint after it dried. But before I did all that, I decided to make a sigil. So sigils are great, like, little magic things that you can do. Um, so what you do is you write out your mantra, and then you can cross off all the vowels, and then you can draw symbols with the letters, or you can do what I do half the time, which is literally do whatever, and then whatever you vibe with, just pick it, and that's your sigil. So sigils are... Kind of just really simple like magic and stuff. I'm a baby witch. I barely know what I'm doing half the time but this is the one thing I can actually grasp and I really enjoy so in order to activate your sigil all you need to do or what I have found I like to do is to write out your little mantra and then draw your sigil fold the paper in half and then blow on it to activate it like blow on it away from you that's what I was told to do, but I bet there's so many other methods you can do. I'm pretty sure you can burn it as well, which I don't personally want to do. But yeah, I decided to make that sigil and it is for protection because I'm going to be putting the deer skull above my window and um, I just feel like it would be great for some protection in my own room. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with this sigil and I put it right on top in the center of the deer's forehead which I thought was really pretty. So here's the end of the sigil. It was really simple, really just black paint. I didn't want it to be very fancy at all, so that was that. Moving on from the sigil, I am actually going to be doing something kind of crazy, and that is putting a bunch of moss onto the deer. So holy crap, this was a mess. Like this dried moss stuff, makes a disaster seriously it was it was bad but it looks pretty at least on the deer i think so something kind of dumb that i decided to do for like putting the moss onto the antlers and whatever was to actually grab sticky tack and just kind of put it on there and then squish my moss into it. My god, this doesn't work very well. The moss really wants to try and come off, but I really try to push it in there. And I'm just really careful while handling it and stuff so I don't knock the moss off. It should work okay. If not, then I don't know what to do. I'm not going to super glue stuff onto the antlers because I probably don't 
I just don't want to do that. It's, yeah. I want to keep the antlers natural, and if I want to take the moss off, I want to have the ability to do so instead of having, you know, stinking glue on there and not being able to take it off. This process definitely took me a long time. I used a darker green moss and then this like fluffier moss, which the fluffier moss is honestly my favorite or whatever, but I really like the dark color of the other like stringy moss and stuff like that. I wish I had more of a variety, but this works out fine. Um, I also stuck moss into the eyes. I don't know why, I just thought it would be cool, so I decided to do that. So yeah, definitely took me a while to get done, but we'll, we'll get there. And I, oh yeah, I totally forgot. I stuck moss around the edges of like where the antlers connect to the skull because from the previous paint job that I did on the like the pointillism dot thing that I did, I actually had gotten paint like on the bottoms of like the antlers or whatever where they're connecting so I decided to cover that up as well and I thought it looked fine like it looks good so anyway it was really fun to do this like I think the moss really adds a lot to it and yeah definitely took me a long time though so here it is it's all done and complete my little protection deer skull that's gonna go right above my window and it's gonna be all mossy and nature and ah it's really cool i'm excited to hang it up on my wall i have not done that yet i need some help with getting some wire because you can actually string wire in the back of its head and then hang it on the wall so i really still need to do that but anyway thank you so much for watching if you want to support me make sure to go to my etsy and the other links in my um description i was gonna say bio but that's for instagram <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys later Bye-bye.